really scaring down bay, if anything. In fact, he packs them up. And he's going to look for a good placement. He's going to try to drop them on the Banley and try to force them to use it. Oh, but he runs right by them. The Queen's attacking that one. He needs to get that down quickly before the medevac gets taken out and losing all of those Marines in it. Here comes the Mutalus as well. Oh, this is bad oh, news for him. No. If he can pick off that one medevac, one more attack. Look at the kill. He's able to drop a couple. But the medevac goes down. Here comes some more Marines. But Don Bay's in a lot of trouble. He is backed up onto the uh, red drive. Oh, man, those two Marines. Poor guys. They're left <laughs> behind. Oh, but they might be fine. In fact, they will be. So... Dom Bay is, uh, was able to successfully defend his expansion, at least. Now his new base. Yep, Dom Bay not macroing too well. Uh, sitting at a thousand minerals. He's probably not very used to Desert Oasis either. Um, so he is getting his expansion up. Could get another two up at this point. He's very low on gas. Only has two guys on his bottom gas geyser, actually. But not a big deal. He needs to just really pump out more and more Marines. Yeah, or <laughs> more expansions, rather. He needs to take his two extra gas really quite quickly. Yeah, he is uh, having an orbital command just about finished, so he's going to be looking to expand with that. And we see that Suffo has expanded back to his main base. <laughs> choice. Yeah, that's interesting. But uh, yeah, wanted to take it back. I mean, why not? Might as well. Definitely a good spot to be. But he did lose quite a bit. I mean, let's remember, he used to have a Spire and uh, whatnot and doesn't have any of that anymore. Evolution Chamber. But he's got the Evolution Chamber back up. Or excuse me, the Infestation Pit. He does not have an Evolution Chamber, but he does have a Roach Warren now and another Spire going up. So he's going to be looking to get some Roaches there to uh, go against those Marines. Nice scan on the main base right there. He notices that he's rebuilding and the slow queen walking nearby. So Don Bay knows what's up now. Having the slight advantage when it comes to resources, I'm guessing at least. Yes, definitely does. And income as well, especially with that second or that first expansion going down right now. We'll be able to take advantage of that. But the uh, main base finishing there for Suffo, and he's uh, good to go once again. Yep, he is in business. How many banelings is that? We got about 10 banelings right there. Another expansion coming up, in fact. This is the second one for Dombay. So again, he's trying yeah, to take advantage right now. That's a very aggressive expansion. Dombay actually also building Banshees and researching Cloak. Uh, these two Banshees and Cloak, they're going to be able to do a pretty good amount of damage. Zepho does have enough um, to make an Overseer, but for anti-air, all he has is two Queens. Yeah, he does have a Spire, though, so he oh. should be able to fend this off. Oh, poor Banshee, poor Banshee. Got oh, caught in No Man's Land there. right there. Good, good play oh, by they Sefo. really needed that Banshee. Yeah, that is unfortunate. As, uh, does he have another one coming? Yeah, he's trying to train another one, but it is supply blocked, so unfortunately... <laughs> will not be able to take advantage of that cloak until he gets uh, one out. He doesn't have another one out. Yes, he does have one out. Yeah, sure but he really wanted to, yeah, yeah, to go in. One-shot workers, but... Now... Suffo is very well prepared. Oh, here we go with the Mutalisk. Going to cause the harassment once again, going to the base, figuring what to attack. And he's uh, so far trying to pick up these Marines, it looks like, but a big army incoming. He needs to get his job done quickly and get out of there. We see the Missile Turret trying to pick him off as well. Trying to pick off a couple of SCVs before he has to leave, and he will be very successful, at least picking off three or four. But he needs to get out of there. Oh, he loses the Mutalisk, but uh, the rest will survive a four Mutalisk army, it looks like. And again, Suffolk, as we've seen pretty much all the time from him, he's doing an excellent job of really microing those... Uh, he is meatless and causing a lot of harassment on his opponent. No different this game. He's been doing a very good job with them. And uh, definitely spreading out the kills between them, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, building up his army once again. Going for the Zergling Baneling. Very effective, of course, against this bio-majority bio army for Dombay. But here comes the Banshee. Just by himself, unfortunately. But he does have Cloak now. What can he do? A couple of Infestors up currently, by the way, for Sofo. So he's getting those taken care of. Fungal growth has proved to be very powerful. Here goes the invisible Banshee, though. And he's going to try to get a good chunk of drones here down, obviously. Maybe the queen first, even. <laughs> Trying to kill the queen, actually. Seems to me that he's just uh, using some valuable time right there. Here comes the That's overseer. The best choice of target. Yeah. Uh, the overseer was busy chasing another Banshee, which successfully went down. And this Banshee forced to retreat. Now, Suffo is grabbing that expansion, and 
Down bay does have five marines right next to it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely could uh, send those guys whatever, and by all means, he knows what's going on. I mean, with that Zonaga tower controlled, he has every bit of vision of it. So yep, far, actually canceling like he... though. I'm not seeing something's fishy. Cool. Maybe trying to bait Down Bay if anything to push out, and well, he was successful if that was the case because uh, here we go with Down Bay's a uh, good chunk of his army right here, and they're gonna come in uh, trying to make something happen, picking off a couple of creeps right here. The army for Safo, he, again, he still has this huge army right here. A couple of infestors thrown in there. No push, actually, though, from Dom Bay. And he it looks like he's going to retreat and going back to square one of uh, just building up the army once again. So what was uh, initially what we both called an all-in strategy from Dom Bay has been able to recover it from it ni quite nicely. Although, it, it, I mean, it worked out very well, but in the end he wasn't able to finish off Safo. I guess, I guess a better way to put it would be Safo reacted to it very well. And he's recovered himself. Quite well. Oh uh, yeah, all in managed to do a lot of damage, but not just quite enough. So suddenly, all in turns into standard game. Well, but Suffo now showing the might of his macro. He is going for tier three. He's got the greater spire morphing in. Oh man, there goes uh, that mini army right there, caught off at the Zelnaga Tower. He's going to make his way to the top portion where the majority of the army is for Dom Bay. Could possibly be seeing an epic battle right here. Again, Suffo is up two games to one. Best of the five series. Suffo trying to finish the three games to one. Uh, Dom Bay trying to force a game five right here. The Infestors are coming in. They land one fungal growth right there. Surrounding a couple. There, the Banley's crashing onto them. He's getting a good check of damage in there. And the Immunalists, a couple of these Immunalists are not actually attacking anything, but uh, they'll eventually join the party, I am sure. But the fungal growth stunning a lot of these Marines right here, getting them really low with these Immunalists alone. And they're also going to pick out these Medivacs. So job well done right there from Suffo. Definitely winning that battle. And look at this. An army of Marauders, unfortunately, force uh, Dombe. You see Suffo focus firing those Marines. And now he's going to take out these Marauders one by one. There's just absolutely nothing they can do. Suffo definitely gaining an upper hand right here. He's winning the food count now after that. And uh, definitely winning that battle. So well played by Suffo. It's, ooh, down by lagging right here. Hopefully he uh, comes back shortly. But uh, advantage Suffo. Yep, well played by Suffo. He's actually backing out with his Muta. He's not sure why. He can probably just roll over Dombey at this point. Chase down those Marauders. Looks like he's coming back, but uh, yeah, that's Dombe is really behind now. I mean, uh, he's in a lot of trouble. He does have the gold expansion. That's obviously good news for him, but as he's lagging out here, we'd hate to see a crash at this point. I mean, again, I know I understand uh, Suffo has a decent advantage, especially now more, more and more Mutal is even coming right here. But you like to see the game actually finish legit, and it looks like we are going to have that way now. As he's back, but uh. Going straight for that gold expansion, as I was just talking about, is Suffo, it looks like. He has uh, three turrets to deal with. Definitely not the easiest thing. Ooh, a scan right there. I think he just missed them, though. But here they coming in, and they're going to look to pick off each of these turrets. Picking off one just like that. Picking off the other one. And the final one just really cannot do too much. And Medivac's coming in right here. Oh, trying to drop some Marauders, but Marauders not going to do anything, unfortunately. Drops a couple of the Marines as well. Uh, but here comes a more bigger army once again. But again, it's pretty much a mix of Marauders and... Uh, Suffo is just so powerful right now. Three missile turrets going up for Dombe in desperation right here. But these, uh, again, markering going on right here by Suffo, splitting his army up, taking out both the turrets and the army that was trying to get away right there. Going to pick off these SUVs one by one, and he's going to clear out this gold expansion. So Dombe is just on his heels right now, and uh, don't, don't see too many good things for him, unfortunately, although he is upgrading to Thor's right here. Will they come out in time is the question. Yeah, Suffo pretty much just going to completely out-macro the opponent from here on out. Wow, he's actually morphing into Bridlords. And, yeah. Dombe on one base, Suffo on three. Going to just be a wrecking crew soon. Well, I got a couple of Thors out, but uh, the Mutal is actually running right out on top of the Thors right there in that box, like you like to call it, the magical box. And down goes one Thor, down goes the other Thor. And, uh, yeah, I definitely expect a GG shortly from Dom Bay and Suffo to be named your Heroes of New Earth Community Champion. Uh, so a rematch of the first tournament finals. It looks like the GG well played's come out, and Suffo this time will be victorious, where Dom Bay was victorious the last time. Well played, though, by Suffo. Very, very deserving. Takes the series three games to one. 
And again, surprising to a lot of people, I'm sure, as Dombe got off, or Dombe got off to a very slow start. Uh, some very unique strategies just did not work for himself. I got off to the 2 nothing start, obviously, so Dombe came back in Game 3, but it was not enough here for Game 4 as uh, Suffo wins it three games to one and takes home the 80% prize pool. Congratulations, Suffo. Congratulations. Congratulations, indeed. Well... Well, that was once again a fun tournament. Whew. Another good time spent of casting. Not as long as last time, but definitely still quite a long time. It was that four and a half hours plus, looks like. Not too bad. Oh, great tournament. Looks like Suffo has.